what's going on guys it's Carnage Pure here and for today's video what have you is a ripper chem on Sub-Zero again I've been playing a lot of DLC you'll be seeing a lot of more DLC gameplay because I really like this DLC pack that was released and I'm having a lot of fun playing it so this gameplay it was about four and a half minutes but I cut it down to three and a half because there was a section where I had to run from one side of the map to the other and it wasn't very entertaining for that bit so I just cut it out and I was going unsilenced this game with a ripper, something that I don't, know, I don't really see too often, just an unsilenced ripper. I don't know about you guys. But leave a like if you did enjoy, or if you do enjoy this gameplay. And let's move into the commentary topic. And it kind of relates with this gameplay. And that is, did DLC save ghosts? And where I say save, I don't mean save, but keep it alive is more so what I mean. Now, um... For me, at least, the DLC was what kept Ghosts alive for me. Because if there was no DLC, I would not be still playing Ghosts. Simple as. I would have stopped playing Ghosts a good few months ago. Because I would have been bored, there would have been nothing to do in the game, it would have just been the same old. Everybody would most likely have left the game. So, for me, what kept me playing and what kept me doing gameplays is knowledge that there was DLC. And that DLC comes in many forms, whether it be DLC guns like the Ripper, DLC maps like Sub-Zero, or DLC camos. Something that changes our views on the game, or something that changes how we play the game, so it feels more fresh, and there's something that we haven't actually done before, such as putting on a new camo that is a DLC camo. So that's what kept it alive for me, because honestly, without the DLC, Ghosts just wouldn't have been fun enough to last the whole year until Advanced Warfare. And that's something that Call of Duty has really done. The attention span for Call of Duty gets lower and lower every year. I remember MW2. That game had DLC. Barely anybody bought it because the game was so good. It didn't need DLC. Everybody was still having fun playing standard maps and using the standard guns. You know, nobody cared really about the DLC. Sure, I mean, if people bought it, but it, it, it didn't matter. If you, you see where I'm coming from. That game was good enough to last the entire year and more because when uh, Black Ops 1 came out, people were still playing MW2. And then Black Ops 1 came out, slightly less attention for the year than MW3. People started getting bored in summer of it. And then, um, what was it after? BO2, people getting bored of it by summer pretty much and ghosts only lasted a few months to be honest so advanced warfare really needs to have that attention span and then um, have good DLC that keeps the game alive as well or if not just have the game as itself good enough so it can survive without the DLC so leave your thoughts down below it was kind of rushed this commentary but leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video